my team turn. Take me out on the water. We fishing. Way out in the woods. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Out in the grave. And welcome to Leary Smith Outdoors. We're sponsored by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Bartline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Big Snow Resort, Hard and Soft Fishing, Lynch and McGuanago, Wings Over Wisconsin, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supplies, Dave's Engine of Princeton, Vexlar, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Come Along Measuring Tools, Commick Law Firms, Norm's Egg, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Holy moly. Hey, good morning and welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Hey, today we're up on Lake Winnebago on our home turf. I'm with my good friend and partner, Lance the Lightning. And I'll tell you what, we're gonna have a fantastic day. The walleyes have been biting like crazy. It's the best bite we've had all year, most consistent, and along with the crappies. So we should have a fantastic show. Hey, and the other interesting part is that our good friend John Gillespie is about maybe about a quarter mile away from us filming. So we're gonna have dual shows going here. So it should be an interesting day today up on Winnebago. You know, what we're doing here is these fish are tighter into the bays right now because of the shad population. So, which has forced these fish in because they're looking for these big pods. You know, sometimes on the Vexlar, it's amazing how all of a sudden your locator pretty much just blank right out, just solid. And what happens is these big swarms of shad, there could be, you know, three to eight foot thick come through. That's what, oop, that's what these fish are chasing right here. You know, so that's a, the key to this time of year. And the other nice part is, here we got some fish going, is that, oop, I bumped them. The other nice part is that we've got a lot of warm weather coming in right now too, kind of watching that Vexlar as I'm doing this. And I think the ice conditions are gonna turn bad on us. So we're probably gonna be, by the time this show airs this weekend, probably down to using our ATVs in the snow bear here so uh, that's the big concern about uh, the next couple weeks is our weather pattern nothing but warm weather some temperatures in the 50 degrees but it's definitely going to get the fish to bite like crazy so stay tuned let's see what happens today up here on lake winnebago fishing for crappies and walleyes big snow resorts your destination for winter family fun in the north Enjoy two resorts on one ticket. With over 400 skiable acres, it's the largest ski experience in the Midwest. Full service resorts offering pro shop service, hotel, chalet, and trailside condo lodging, six dining facilities, four bars, and with weekly special events, exceptional fun for everyone. For details, please call or visit BigSnowResorts.com today. The warrior story continues with the best tracking, driest ride in the industry. Designed with a high degree of dead rise and bow flare to push water out and down for a smooth, dry, comfortable ride. The smart trolling keel limits bow drift for enhanced boat control in the wind and with a lifetime haul warranty, warrior boats are built to last. Warrior Boats, a legend reborn. The new Acme Rattlemaster has a built-in echo chamber with a brass rattle that calls fish in. The body's solid brass too and won't bend or dull and reflects fish attracting light all over the water column. This one-two punch of sight and sound means you drill less holes because fish come to you. Jig it, rip it, or shake it for crappie, walleye, northern salmon, or trout. And experience multi-species action with just one bait. Wings Over Wisconsin, a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org.
Here we go. Hey, I'll tell you what, that fish, oh, there you go. Nice crappie. I'll tell you, now that's what I'm talking about. You know, it's an interesting thing on the Winnebago system is that typically on the lake itself here, it's never been a huge crappie lake, but I'll tell you about five, six years ago, we had an explosion of weeds, which allowed the crappies to have a really good hatch. And I'll tell you what, we've got a really strong population of, of crappies. And then I know our young of the year from last year, the same thing. It was amazing the numbers at the DNR when they did their netting of number of young crappies. So the future for crappie fishing up on this system should be absolutely awesome. And that's a nice fish right there. <laughs> I knew that one was going to bite. Oh, another white bass. I don't want white bass today. Here we go. <laughs> what the hell? White bass again? Oh, no, nice crap. <laughs> I got him right on that guy. Got him right on that cast master. I'll tell you what. That's a nice fish right there. You know, and I'll tell you what, this new rattle master by Uncle Josh, Acne Cast, Acne Tackle, actually, Uncle Josh, Hard and Soft Fishing. They've got this, you know, that rattle chamber built inside of that new Cast Master there, the Rattle Master. And I'll tell you something, this water's clear here, but it still makes a difference because of that little bit of rattle. That just drives them fish crazy. And when they come flying up to it, I just stop it and I just barely move it. And if you listen to these baits, like there, you can just hear that little bit of rattle in there. And I'll tell you, that's what it takes to get them fish going right there. Nice job. I'm loving that. Got one going there, Derek? Good deal. Come up and smack it. Oh, yeah. There we are. Oh, nice crappie. We've been catching quite a few, a few of these out here the last couple days there, Derek. Not used to seeing crappie this size on Winnebago, are we? No, no, not at all. And this is actually one of the smaller ones. Last couple days we've been getting some 10 to 14 inchers. We've got a nice 10, 11 incher here, but uh, beautiful day. I see you stepped outside there, Derek. Yeah, got some fresh air, got out of the uh, shack for a little bit. Yeah, sitting in there with Mark, I can't blame you for that. <laughs> I'd get out a little sooner too, so. All right, let's get this in the bucket and see if we can pop a few more. Well, time you come back. Well, they were catching them down there. I know it. Well, so was I. Look at that. Oh, got a nice man. auger. Yep. Jeez. Got a couple more crappies, a bunch of white bass. You know, that's what I'm saying about this bite. It's been a pretty good bite, you know. And a lot of it's got to do with this time of year, these fish start congregating together and they're starting to come into the bays and feeding on the shad and the grounders. And the other thing is that, you know what, it's getting closer to spawning time. So again, that's why they're getting together here and they're gonna start heading towards the mouth of the river. So this whole system should start lighting up. And I'm really looking forward to this warm streak, except for it's probably gonna cut our ice fishing down in half. I don't think we're gonna have a lot of ice fishing in the marsh this year, the way the weather looks with all that warm stuff coming in. Here's one. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> yeah, so. White bass, I think. Oh, no, no, oh, no. Oh, nice walleye. Got, look at that, oh, that's a nice walleye. And I'll tell you that, look at that, you know, again, on that, that rattle master, and absolutely crush that, open up. You know, this is the nice part about, I got my toothpick here, my cold snap, put that out of there. Now look at the belly on that fish right there. You know what, you'd think that's a female, but I'm telling you, that's, oh, Whoop, that is all fat on these fish. They all look like females because of the, the, that's how much they've been eating. It's amazing, and, and it's not. This is a male, but it definitely, that's how thick the fat is, and that's how much forage is on the system now. Absolutely great. Now that's about a 16 inch fish right there. Wash them off a little bit. About a 16 inch fish, nice fish right there. You know, the system, is not looking too bad. I was a little worried after last year because we weren't catching a lot of really nice walleyes, but we had a couple really great hatches now. So I think we're gonna be good for about the next, you know, four or five years. And, and if they put that three fish limit go to 15 inches, I think that's gonna really change things on the system right here. Absolutely awesome. 
you know, and that's the key with is these walleyes too when you're fishing them out here, is I'm very aggressive with them when they come in. They usually come in singles or doubles and they come in a little bit faster, where the white bass come in in big groups most of the time, and the crappies are almost always suspended off the bottom, usually three to five foot, and they're real slow movers all the time. You know, and that's, I love, man, I'll tell you something, when you get days like this out in this system, you gotta love that. I got here some more fish and coming up, coming up, coming up, coming. There he goes. You know, see that on the walleye, you just keep, you, you want to just keep, I, yep, there it is. I knew it was going to be a walleye. You want to definitely just, oh, oh, why do I got my finger in his mouth? Now, that's about a, you know, 14 inch right there. That's about as small as I would keep them right there. Still a nice fish, perfect build on them right there. You know, 13 and a half to 14 inches. And again, you know what I'm saying, when, you're, when, you're, when, you, when a walleye comes in, it's, they come in fast. It's totally different than the other thing. And that's a great part about the Vexlar, is that when you're fishing with a Vexlar, you can read what type of fish they are just by how they react, how many come in, how fast they come in, where they're suspended in the water column. It's probably one of the most important tools when it comes to ice fishing, the Vexlar, for sure. I can't, especially when you're on a system like this, I can't see fishing without it. You know, I'm gonna have a fish fry tonight. My wife said, bring home some fish today if you catch any. And I said, if I catch any? She knows me pretty good, I'll tell you that. I'm Mark Green. I'm Patrick Lynch. Welcome to our all new Lynch McQuanago dealership. The brand new Lynch McGuanago dealerships have over 500 new Chevys, Chryslers, Dodges, Jeeps, Rams, and pre-owned vehicles in stock and all priced to sell. Stop by and check out their massive selection of trucks and SUVs, perfect for all your fall outdoor sports. You do the driving, we'll do the listening, because I want you to love how you feel in your new ride. Nobody sells for less than Lynch. From the equipment we use to the clothing we wear, the developments of modern ice fishing technology only serves to make the time we spend on the ice with our friends and family more enjoyable. And there's one product that has stood the test of time for over 30 years, and that's Vexlar, the most trusted name in sonar. Three generations of ice anglers have been using Vexlar technology, and Vexlar continues to earn the respect of anglers all across the ice belt. Time to create your own memories. Visit Vexlar.com. Badger Sportsman Magazine, Wisconsin's premier outdoor magazine. Fishing and hunting in Wisconsin, written by outdoor enthusiasts from Wisconsin. Each issue features timely fishing and hunting articles from experts across the state. Badger Sportsman Magazine will help you make the most out of your time in the woods or on the water. Subscribe to Badger Sportsman Magazine today. At Jiffy, we pride ourselves at being number one in developing the best propane drills on the ice. It's why our engineers have worked side by side with anglers for 65 years running. All built and tested right here in the U.S. of A. Patented proven performance is Jiffy's vision for the future. And from where we stand, the future looks pretty darn sweet. Jiffy, we put the world on ice. See, Dave, all it took was Larry to leave. Yeah. Thank God he's gone. Right. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice crop. Yeah, hold that one up for me. Another one on, Tyler? Yeah, that one, that one. I see you got quite the pile going here. Oh, nice crappie. Nice Ooh. crappie. There you go. Sweet. Nice fish there, Tyler. Got that one on the yeah. Rapala, huh? Yeah. So you got quite the pile going here. Midday here has been a little bit slow, but you're putting a little pile together here. Nice to see. Yeah. Hey, Jer. You guys, I've been walking around checking on clients. And what do you got there? White bass? Oh, no, oh, nice crappie. You want to hold him up? That's a nice crappie again. On that cast master, hold him up. On the rattle master. No, I tell you, was that fish suspended or off the bottom? He's about three feet up. He followed it up. Okay. I mean, you know, now with that sun up the way it is, I'll tell you, the bites you are getting, we're not getting a lot of bites. And I told you guys, 
This won't be a hot and fast and furious once that sun comes up and now once it goes down we'll fish into the dark. That's when the things will really start happening. Right there. And the crappies seem to really be slamming it. Yeah, the crappies. The white bass are just hanging. They just, it, you know, you'd think it would be the opposite of that. All right, nice job, nice job. Hey, this week's tip is that we're gonna show you the proper way to tie a jig and rapella so the nose is always pointed down. And what I've got is some high-vis line because my eyesight is not that good. And the other part is it's a lot easier to show you on camera how we're doing this with a high-vis line. Normally, I would not tie high-vis line, especially on a system like Winnebago that is so clear. So basically, I'm gonna tie it into a polymer knot. And so what I did is I went through the eye of the jig and rapella so I'm through there twice, okay? Now I'm gonna go and tie it into a knot, just like you would tie the Palomar, but I'm gonna hold the loop this time. And so what I'm doing is I'm grabbing my fingers, okay, clinching it down. Now here's the loop of the Palomar. I'm gonna put it to the front of the hook keeper on the bottom, okay? Clinch it down, and there you go. Jig and Rapella, tighten it up a little bit more. There we go, tie, take the tag end off, and there you go. Jig and Rapala pointed down. Hey, after all that, it's time for some of my favorite. Mike's Country Meats Honey Barbecue flavor. Mm. Life doesn't get much better, I can tell you that, Danny. Hey, I'll tell you guys what, guess what? You guys are really gonna enjoy this. I've got a new sponsor for the show, Burger Smokehouse, and I'll tell you, they've got some great products. So we're gonna throw some of this bacon in here. We got the applewood smoked bacon, and then we've got the original steak bacon, and we're gonna throw it in the potatoes there to give them a nice special flavor. I'll tell you that I love bacon and potatoes cooked together, so let's, uh, let's give this a try. Lance is gonna go cook it up for us. What's with that hairnet? What do you mean? Last week when we were down at the plant, I had to wear a hairnet. I thought you know, when you had bacon and when you were cooking, you always said to have a hairnet on. I guess that's pretty good. Wait, are you yeah. telling me? These guys don't want any hair in their food, right? Are you saying I don't have to wear this? Yeah, I was thinking you didn't have well, to worry about this. Actually, it was kind of a souvenir. Hey, I'll tell you what, I've been guiding full time for about 29 years. And when you're fishing a system like Winnebago, especially on a bright day like today, high pressure, I've got a way to keep guys interest in between the early bite and the late bite. So check this out. See, then they don't get bored in between the bites and walk around outside. Some things I do get down pretty good, I'll tell you that. Hey, I'll tell you what, Mark, you know what? It's, it was a little tougher day so far today. We were just getting into the bulk of the, the best time frames. You know, this that last hour and a half, uh, the sun's just starting to come down a little bit. But this is really the difference is that I fished with you before. Yep. You're really an extraordinary fisherman. Okay. This is the difference because you have the patience and you have the, the, the knowledge to catch these fish. And you know, you probably have more crappies sitting right here, plus you let some really big ones go, which you know, that's what I liked about you too. Yep. You don't believe in keeping the real big females. You're, you're better off letting them go. But tell us, why do you think today you did so well? You know, what's, what's your secret? I know what it is, but just tell everybody out in the audience. Today, today what it was a little tough. Um, the high pressure and the sunshine always makes it a little tough to catch fish. Uh, yep. Today what we did was we uh, we hole hopped a little bit, but we switched it up quite a bit. So you give them one presentation, yep. you get the fish to come in. If they didn't bite, you didn't stick with it. You didn't stay with it, you moved to something a little bit slower presentation, and all of a sudden you'd come in and hit it. You'd maybe catch two, three fish that way, and then you go back to bringing them in again. Once in a while, you get one or two. Yep. But uh, you keep switching it up. And I think that's the that's the, the problem time. a lot of times with us fishermen 
is that we get too repetitious in what we're doing. We're too stuck in our ways. Yep. And you know, a guy like you that constantly is thinking out of the box, this is what happens. Hey, and guess what? There's a little prize today for, <laughs> for catching so many fish so far. You know, that we still got a couple hours of fishing, but here you go. I hope you like Fantastic. hot stuff. Love Look at that, yep. You got the ghost pepper, you know. Especially because you even have, oh, you do have a little heater in here, but I don't think you've had it on much today. Of course, it's pretty warm. Right, but the sun is starting to go down, so if he starts getting a little cold, a couple pieces of that, you'll be good. Thanks, Mark. It's a pleasure very, very much. So let's, hey, now we're getting into walleye time. Let's see some walleyes to add to this. For over 25 years, Midwestern Shooter Supply has been your premier dealer for hunting supplies. Our staff is friendly, experienced, and certified with over 15 years in gunsmithing experience. We're your one-stop shop for your hunting needs. Our inventory is at the lowest possible price, and we will match any other dealer advertised price. Do you do more than hunt? Check out our supply of fishing products as well. Visit Midwestern Shooter Supply today, or shop our web store at mwshooters.com. Midwestern Shooter Supply, we want to be your outdoor supplier. The new Beaver Dam Titanium Tip Stick is the first ice rod with a built-in extendable titanium spring bobber, making it the most versatile ice rod ever. Extend the bobber for ultralight panfish jig, or retract it for game fish or when it's time for travel. It even has a built-in rattling handle to attract fish. It took a while to come up with an ice rod worthy of the Beaver Dam name, but when we did, boy, we nailed it. It's the Wisconsin Fishing Expo at the Alliant Energy Center, February 24th through the 26th. Now with a new second floor, giving anglers over 110,000 square feet of rods, lures, reels, boats, and motors all under one roof. New big name speakers, new ice carving contest Saturday, new free concert from Pat McCurdy Saturday from 6 to 7.30 with paid expo admission. Meet Green Bay Packer Bill Schrader Sunday. Youth seminars with free gear, free face painting, casting competitions, and more. Go to wifishingexpo.com for more info. Kids 12 and under free. Hey, I'll tell you what, welcome back to day number two. Yesterday we had a fantastic day out here on Lake Winnebago. We caught a pile of crappies, a ton of white bass, but we only had a few walleyes yesterday. And you know, this time of year, our clients are looking for walleyes. So Lance and I were on the hunt with our snowmobiles and in, in trying to get on back on the big pods of walleyes. And you know, this time of year, Lance, it's definitely the time where these walleyes school together. Right, and warmer temperatures. Home. Water starting to come down the river system, starting to school up, get ready to go up river. Time to get on them, Larry. It is time to get on them. So uh, we're on a little search mission. It's very rare that you and I don't have clients, but it just happens today we don't, which is perfect. So we'll get on these fish again and get back. And you know, I, I got a funny feeling, Lance, with the way uh, Mother Nature's treating us that uh, we're not gonna be ice fishing into March too far. No, we'll be in the warrior boats. Right, that's along. the thing, which is fine too. So, hey, stay tuned, let's see what happens today on our search mission here for walleyes up on Lake Winnebago again. There's one, Larry. Got one, Lance. Yep. Tell you what, you know what? I think we're back on the, yep, that's what we're looking yep. for. That's, we got him. nice fish. Yep. Hey, I'll tell you what, you know, it's amazing that yesterday we had such a great time with our clients, how many crappies we caught. We caught a few walleyes and yep. we definitely caught a pile of white bass. But, you know, a big part about our guiding, especially this time of year, we got clients that want walleyes. And they, they don't complain about the crappies, but they want walleyes in there too. So what we're doing today, we're out here actually doing on a, a search mission. We both got our snowmobiles out here and we can cover a lot of ground with these machines and we're definitely after to try to get back on these schools of walleyes. And you know what, Lance, 
we're probably only going to get another three weeks of ice fishing out of this and it's probably going to be not much truck travel anymore because of the warm conditions that are coming through so snowmobiles i'll have the snow bear out here yep. but we're definitely going to be more on walleyes than anything so hey let's keep uh, working to see what we get hey what'd you catch that fish on anyways what do i don't even there? ask <laughs> Let's get Guy's some more. Got one bait in this whole tackle box. Marking quite a few lance again. Oh, here, this one, come. Oh, I knew he was coming right up. Oh, that's a nice fish. I'll tell you that. You know, that that's a nice fish. Look how fat these fish are. I know yesterday. I had a couple that were real nice like this too, but I was talking about the amount of forage in this system. Absolutely awesome. And hey, I'll tell you something, one of speaking of something awesome, Wisconsin Fishing Expo is coming up the 24th through the 26th, and I'll be there on Sunday for a seminar. So if anybody wants to come down and enjoy the Madison show there, and I'll tell you what, it's at the Alliant Energy Center and they've got 110,000 square foot upstairs now. So, wow, they really added on to that show. I think there's over 300 booths. It should be an absolutely great event. So you wanna come out and check it out. And I know there's a lot of things there involving kids and lots of things for them to do there to keep them occupied. So check out the Wisconsin Fishing Expo at Madison at the Alliance Center on the 24th through the 26th. And I will be there on Sunday. Nice fish, loving it. Oh, another one, are you kidding me? Another one, Larry. Lance. I had a school, nice school down bunch. there. I'm marking them a bunch. There, there we go. I'm glad that you drilled two holes right here, I'll tell you. You know, that's a big thing too about what we do is, boy, we cover a lot of miles, you know, when we're on the hunting. And these are nice fish, Lance. I guess I'm gonna say, I really didn't think that we had many nice walleyes left in the system, but boy, I'll tell you, the last couple weeks, the walleye fishing's really been pretty impressive, and along with them crappies. Oh. Yesterday, them crappies, I mean, we had a couple that 14, I know the guys they, they let go, right? Yep. That's incredible, you know, to see what's going on here, so. Yep, and now we're getting them schooled up like we were, we were anticipating with the warmer weather here. Yep, and, and so I, didn't I would see my bait on that one. Larry. You did? You, you know, just I came in and squatted it? In and... Hey, Lance, what color did you have on? <laughs> you know, Larry, you know. Lance, I'm catch, catching up to you. <laughs> now they're decent walleye. Now that one's not quite as, as big as the last one. Got him on the cast master with no bait. No bait on there. You know, I'll tell you what, the Winnebago system is an awesome system, and I got a feeling we're gonna have a really good summer out here. You know, and that's, that's maybe about a 15 incher. Um, perfect eating size fish right there. But uh, you know what? We're starting to get a pattern put together here. And uh, you know what? It's a great day to be alive. Where are you going, Larry? Hey, Lance, if I don't take Dan, Dan, the caveman cameraman back in, we're not going to have a show this weekend. I'll take him in. I'll come back out and we'll fish. He'll edit the show. Come on, Dan, let's get out of here. I gotta get you back in. I kinda wanna stay and fish. Somebody's gotta babysit him, Dan. You got work to do. Smith, are you kidding me? You cut me for hash browns? I'm calling Gordon Ramsey. Ramsey? Gordon? Gordon, shotgun. Yep, I'm coming out.